Hello, hello everyone. Welcome, my name is Lucas, and today we're gonna to be building, or I'm gonna share three builds that I've made. Uh, they're uh, basically using V0 from Versal to create custom code components for Framer. And what custom code components are, for example, you can visit frameroverrides.com. You have different you know, types of components like this Tinder swipe thing. They're basically things that you can't really do with the current Framer interface. They require custom code because they require more interaction, right? So this, for example, this is this text glitch. This is a highlight, this text. Um, this is like a typing effect right here. Um, we have this uh, st this timer that when you click it, there's a timer and you can uh, click it to pause. So there's a bunch of different things. Um, I chose, uh, I, I decided to do three different examples today. Uh, so the first example would be um, a custom text highlight, right? So what would that mean? That means that right now when you highlight a certain text, um, in most places it's blue like this, right? Um, but I wanted to make it orange for my uh, Framer project, right? So I basically told V0, V0, I'm trying to create a custom code component for Framer. It must be in React code. It's a line of text with a custom text highlight color. So when I select the text, the highlight color is orange. So after a few um, different uh, corrections, like, oh, can you please make it as an H1 uh, tag or can you make it centered? Um, it came out with this code. And when we visit it in my Framer uh, project and we go to the um, highlight page. So here, this is a normal text. You can just delete this for now. And this is our component that we created and we can highlight the text and it's green. So you highlight the rest, it's blue, but this text is, uh, is not green, orange, right? So that's the first thing that I built. So that, that's great that it just worked after like four or five prompts um, with V0. So that was the first um, quick example. The second quick example, um, when we go back to my chat history, is this glitchy text effect. So. What does that mean? Yeah, you can see it here. Uh, I'm using the, the default title from, from FramePad. FramePad is a great component library tool. Um, so if you guys don't know about it, please visit it. Uh, it's in the, the link is in the bio, but it's basically like a extended uh, um, component library. I'm actually using the design of, of FramePad's navbar and hero section in this, um, to, in this uh, video. But yeah, basically I'm using that this uh, default title that they're using, so ship sites at lightning speed. And I wanted to change the speed so that it generates random letters for two seconds and then it shows speed for two seconds, right? And it took me six times. It was a little bit more complicated because it, was, it wasn't it was styling the, the letters um, correctly. Um, I also needed to make it center aligned. Um, I wanted to uh, edit some parts of the, of the sizing of the fonts it didn't work at times. And then I was like looking at the code uh, to see what was not working. And then um, at the end, it finally worked. So uh, basically what it looks like, if we go to this glitch page here, um, we can just delete this one. We open this and this is how it looks like. We have the same generic um, blue highlight, which is great. And then we have this uh, glitch word at the, at the very end. So that's the second. Um, uh, custom component that I built today. And the third one, the third one is a little bit different. It doesn't have to do with text, but it's more of a button, right? So we see this blue button right here. And basically what I wanted to do, uh, if we go to my history with V0 um, and we create, then we see this framer button. Um, I would want you to help me create a, a rack code component from a framer project, the component should be a, a green button. I wanted a green at the beginning, but then I changed it um, after a few times to this blue uh, color, this grading color, I liked it a lot. Um, and as you can see, the button follows the the mouse, the, the cursor, right? So that was the goal. I kind of explained it wrong in the beginning, um, which was a problem because it, it's, it was working, but it was very like glitchy. Um, so then I just rephrased it at the very end. I wanted it to just follow my, um, to, 
to follow my mouse. I wanted the button to follow my mouse. And I was doing it a little bit too complicated in the beginning. You can pause the video and re read it if you want. But um, at the end, I did it correctly. And basically what we have here is this nice little hero section and the button follows your cursor, right? And these things, you, like I said, you can't really do them if you want to add a button. Um, you'd have to do this with with um, with uh, some type of custom code, right? And the way to do that, right? The V0 generates the code for you and you bring them here. So for the sticky button, um, they're gonna give you like a, a let's write a example here. And, and, and Framer, what it does is that it gives you a, a, an example code. Well, they're gonna re basically, let me do it again, hold on, sorry. Delete. And then what we want to do is here, let me move my face, um, example. And then as you can see, they're giving you like a default code and it's like basically like a square. You're going to see it sooner or later. And what we want to do is we want to go here um, and copy this, go back to Framer, select uh, Command A if you have a Mac, and then Command V and save. And then once you save, I don't know why it's loading still, it's supposed to be working, but um, once you save it, there's going to be a preview, it usually works. And then what you do is you just drag the, 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 the code component into your project. And that's it, it should work like that. Um, let me uh, restart my, my framer, it's looking pretty slow right now, one second. So yeah, uh, I restarted framer, sorry guys. And just to show you, um, here's the preview, right? After you save it, you have to save it, very important. So let's go back to pages, let's go back to button. And then what you do, let's just import this example that I made into this here. And that's how you do it, just drag and drop. Very easy, right? So yeah, guys, this is basically everything for today. Three quick examples of using V0 from Versal to create custom interactive components for your Framer project. This is great if you wanna you know, I, I would suggest going into Framer overrides and looking at all these different um, things here. Like there's like this random rotate one here, like you hover over contact us and it rotates randomly. That's really, that's pretty cool. Just for design, right? So we have different types of buttons here. This one's actually really cool. Um, but yeah, the, the important thing is just going to going here to V0 trying to explain and to iterate a lot with the with the AI and then um, copying this code and bringing it to Framer and then just doing it until until it's until it's good until it's good enough right so yeah um, anyways I hope you guys uh, like this video please like and subscribe if if you um, like to see this type of content if you want to see me build something else um, if you have something cool in mind, um, let me know and we can build it together. And uh, yeah, wish you guys a great rest of the day. And uh, yeah, bye-bye.